into the water. Like it's, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've hit a ball into the water over my golf career. Too many times to count on my hand. Some people may start cussing and swearing. Well, not me. I say, you know what, there's always a next shot. Golf is fun. I have the same mentality as this guy, Tiger Woods, one of the best to ever play the game. Today I'm going to be talking about, guess what, golf. Not the rules and the etiquette of golf, or not how not to hit it into the water, but the benefits of golf. For your brain, your body, and how it's overall a relaxer for you. The brain. Research at Limerick University shows that eight, a round of golf, 18 holes, can lower your lower your risk for any depression or anxiety. When you play a round of golf, you, your brain lets out these chemicals, these good chemicals called endorphins. The endorphins then trigger something in your brain, which then makes you feel that sense of happiness. Now, golf is actually supposed to make you smarter. Dr. Deborah Graham, a counseling psychologist, says that your brain is highly active while playing golf, making lots of mental calculations, such as the grass, the grass depth, ball, where your ball is going, wind direction, slope of the land, all that stuff. So since your brain is so highly active, you're getting a lot of blood flow to your brain. And since your blood flow is high, it increases your brain function, which then helps your critical thinking and planning skills of your brain. So for your, so the, for your body, um, for your body, uh, golf offers a low contact sport, which means it's a low risk of injury as well. So if you don't fit into that wrestling football category, golf might be for you. Since golf offers such a low contact, low risk of injury, you might see a couple of these fellas playing on the country club on a Saturday afternoon. On average, a 18 hole golf course is about four miles long if you walk in a straight line. If you play anything like me, you often find yourself walking from one side of the fairway to the other, so you walk more. Walking is an exercise, so when you exercise, you help your heart, and it helps with your cholesterol levels, your blood pressure, and energy levels, which then lower your risk for any heart disease when you're older. As a relaxer, I mean, this, take a look at these golf courses. This top left one is from California, that top right is Colorado, bottom left is Hawaii, and then that bottom right one is Spring Bluffs, Canada. These courses are absolutely amazing, and I hope one day that I get to, to get, go out and visit these courses. Um, as a relaxer, my, my grandpa passed away two weeks ago, and you know, my dad called us in, us being my sister, my brother, and myself, into our family living room. My mom was with my grandpa at the time. And my dad told us that he had passed away. And I kind of just sat there and was trying to get over the fact that he was gone. You know, he was really special to me. And after a while, I got up. I went out to my entryway. I grabbed my fishing wedge and a couple balls. And I went out to the spot where I always hit. And, you know, I was hitting golf balls. I mean, I wasn't trying to improve my game at all, but it's just being outside and golfing is relaxing for me. So today we went over how golf is overall healthy for your body and how it's a relaxer. You know, golf is my relaxer. It's not everybody's. Some it's music, some it's video games, some it's basketball. You know, you just have to find your relaxer. Find those things that trigger your endorphins. So that way, we all stay out of the rough and on the fairway. Thank you.